Hello and welcome to Enjoy a Monica. I'm Callum and we're going to uh, talk about uh, this subject of uh, March broadcast. That's what it's called, the March broadcast. And indeed, what is in your car? So I'm going to show you what I'm listening to uh, this month, the start of this month at least. And uh, they're all harmonica related. So perhaps you could do the same. Just do a, a little um, comment below and uh, tell me what you're listening to in your car. It's just a bit of fun, really. Bringing the harmonica community together. Isn't that thoughtful of me? Anyway, the first album I've got here is really a man who is a legend. I think you'll agree when I tell you. It's the one and only Stevie Wonder. And this is the, the definitive collection. And you can see some of the, the great stuff there on the back of the album. Now this man, Stevie Wonder, he uh, plays the harmonica, and he plays it beautifully, I might add. But he mainly plays what we call the chromatic harmonica. He doesn't play really the diatonic, as far as I'm aware. He's mainly known for the chromatic. Now the chromatic, just in case you didn't know, was the one that's a little bit longer. And it's usually got maybe 10, 12, 14 or 16 holes. And it's the one that's got the little button on the end of the harmonica. It's traditionally really used for jazz or classical music, but quite often Stevie plays it in, uh, you know, popular songs. Eurythmics, for example, they, they've used Stevie Wonder and so has a lot of other people. But anyway, that's Stevie Wonder, that's my first choice. My second choice is a man who was very big in the 60s. And he was coming along the same sort of time as uh, Bob Dylan. He played similar to Bob Dylan, uh, guitar and harmonica. And uh, I, thought he, they, I thought this man was very, very good, exceptional. He's Scottish, like myself, so that's that's a good thing. That's a plus. Uh, that's, of course, is Donovan. And this album this is a CG version, because I've adjusted it slightly. I've, I've made adjustments to the CD and changed it around a bit. I won't show you too much of that, but Donovan there is my, he plays CD and sorry he plays harmonica and uh, all the way through in every track of that album. In fact, a lot of his albums. I'm not really a big compilations man. I don't like compilations to be honest with you. I really don't. But I do have a couple of a collection, and this is one of them. And this is a blues experience. Now it's a blues album, obviously. And there's lots and lots of uh, harmonica on here. Fleetwood Mac track is uh, a harmonica track. So is uh, the Robert Cray Band and the Commitments. They've got a bit of harmonica. And of course the classic Can't Eat. Uh, they, they've, they feature a lot of harmonica in their things. So there we are. The Blues Experience, my third CD which I'll be listening to uh, in March. Another one here, my final one. Can you imagine? Imagine, if you will, you're in a supergroup, and a supergroup consists of uh, Bob Dylan, George Harrison, Tom Petty, Roy Orbison, I can't think of that guy's name, Jeff Lynne. Can you imagine being in that kind of supergroup? I mean, that's phenomenal, isn't it? Yes, that's right, I'm talking about the uh, Travelling Wilburys. I nearly forgot who we were talking about it. There you go, the Travelling Wilburys. And this is volumes. I think they made a mistake here, you know. This is volumes one and three. I'm sure it's not the case at all. I'm sure that's volumes one and two. If anybody agrees with me, or disagrees with that matter, put a comment down below. If you're a Travelling Wilburys person, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but that appears to me to say volume one and volume three, but I'm pretty sure. It's volume one and two. Anyway, because I know they did one. Anyway, something for you to comment on. Please comment below. Anyway, I'm finished now. So thank you very much indeed for listening and watching. Enjoy your morning. Please subscribe, like, and do all these other things you want to do. Oh, and share. Please share. Thank you and very much and uh, goodbye.